you've got to love the prophet Samuel and to come into Corinthians <clears throat> letters of love I uh, the first Bible that was blessed and given to me um, by my husband's sister uh, through the Baptist church ended up uh, being um, quite ironically lost uh, because of an abandoned uh, trailer in New Mexico by uh, her brother. Um, yeah, Dave just decided he changed his mind. <laughs> A little flimsy, right? Anyway, I lost. A lot of stuff was, was gone. But, um, in today's moment, uh, which is a peaceful moment, uh, I replaced my Bible years and years later with a woman's Bible. It has a nice soft binding and uh, it's just, it's soft, it's very bendable. It's a leather, but it's a soft leather. Uh, it's a beautiful Bible. Blessed by me, <laughs> I bought it for myself at uh, the Family Christian store. We've lived in that area for over 30 years between family and uh, acquaintance. Making relationships uh, that blends an East Coast style with a West. It's been fun, it's been real. And uh, so I want to end this note with a beautiful blog uh, from somebody called Chaz, C H A Z, a yoga connoisseur and uh, the blog was called Don't Hoard Sorrow. Pass it on. Don't Hoard Sorrow. 